Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to another Final Fantasy 15 video. Today we actually got the 1.05 patch for Final Fantasy 15 a day earlier than expected. And probably the most anticipated thing about this patch was the time limited quests or the time limited hunts what are going to be available. So very quickly in this video we're going to be going over how we can activate them, what they are and how they work exactly. The first thing we need to know obviously is how to activate them. So all we need to do is press the touchpad on our PlayStation 4 controller and come down here to where it says timed quest. So for now we only have one available which is going to be this one here. It shows us a slight bit of the map of where it's located and this is where we need to go to make sure the quest activates and where we need to do it. However, it doesn't let us zoom out on the map, so we kind of need to figure out where it is ourselves. And apart from that, on the left here, you can see the rewards, which are pretty nice. We get 333 AP, which is going to piss a lot of people off, which have been sitting there farming away to max out their AP boards before this patch. But this is definitely an improvement and something nice to actually be able to max out the AP boards for those of you who are still missing it. Also, we can see down here in the bottom right corner that the next quest will begin on March the 7th at 4 o'clock. That's when this time limited quest will end and the next one will become available. So a couple of weeks definitely seems like the right sort of time frame especially for some people who maybe work a lot and don't really have as much time to play the game. So it gives them enough time to do it more than once. That's another thing I should really point out is you can do these time limited quests as many times as you like as long as it's obviously inside still the time frame where it's available. However, the rewards are only available the first time you do each quest. Also, for those of you who maybe haven't figured out exactly where this is on the map as there's no indications, uh, it's quite easy you can actually see the right and all you need to do is look for that on the map and it's right over here. Anyway, once we do close in on the location of the quest, we'll see saving pop up in the top left corner of the screen and the quest will start. It says here we need to kill 100 cactuars, which may seem like a lot and it is kind of a lot of enemies but you do fly through this quite quick especially if you're level 99 with all the best weapons and accessories and stuff like that and talking about accessories there are a few things that I would highly recommend for this quest especially if you're not max level or you're trying to do this a little bit earlier on the most annoying things about this battle as you can see if you go in without the right equipment is you get confused a lot and you get poisoned a lot so there's a few things you can do to make this battle a lot easier the most efficient thing and the way to make this battle the easiest would be to put ribbons on each one of your characters which makes it so you can't be affected by any sort of status changes like poison, confusion, petrified, anything like that. However, ribbons are quite rare, especially if you've not quite finished the game yet. If you don't have enough ribbons, don't worry, there are replacement accessories you can use instead of these, which are a lot easier to get. One being the star pendant and the other one being the rainbow pendant. One which prevents you from getting confused and the other one prevents you from getting poisoned. If you don't have enough of these, you can find them in the shop at Les Starlin right next to the hotel where I'm showing you here on screen. You can buy those from him, no problem. Obviously, the disadvantage here being you need two slots for each character instead of just the one for the ribbon but it works just as well really the area effect sort of techniques like um gladio's impulse is really going to be your best friend here as he can take out like five or six at a time if you get them in a big enough group so that's really as much as i can tell you about this hunt in my personal opinion i do enjoy the idea of time limited quests simply because anything that's added more content to the game is great for me the more hours i can spend in here the better really i just really enjoy having more stuff however with the carnival coming to an end which was a time limited event and now the time limited quest it's definitely kind of seeming a bit more like an mmo the more we go on and we haven't even got the multiplayer patch yet so I'd love to really hear your opinions about this in the comments below. Do you agree with so much time limited events coming to a game which isn't really online focused and it's not really fair for some of the players who don't have enough time to play it? But anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for more Final Fantasy 15 content and we'll see you next time.